So, I recently stopped using the T word. Let's talk about that. First of all, I want to give shout outs to the YouTuber I still watch to this day, Patrick Bed David or Valuetainment. You can find him on YouTube. I recently watched his video, The Dangers of Using Weak Words. And that video has R U T word in the title. And I was intrigued. Do you mean trigger or what? And the word that I'm talking about is the word tired. About a week ago, I decided that I'm going to be stop using that word. But why Milan? What is wrong with using the T word? Today, we're going to talk about that. If you haven't watched the video, I'll give you a brief summary. If you're unaware or you haven't seen the video, Pat talks about how using weak words can really shift your mindset. And generally, using that word, the T word, that's going to ruin your progress if you're trying to do something. And another thing he talks about, which kind of changed my mindset, is sleep. Most of the scientists agree that you should sleep between 7 and 9 hours per night. But he asks the question, what about soldiers? What about those mothers with a newborn baby? Can they sleep 7 to 9 hours per night? And he really gets into this rant of not everybody can sleep 7 to 9 hours per night. I mean that soldier that is literally defending his country, he can only sleep for 4 hours a night. That mother with a newborn baby, she can only sleep for 3 hours a night. Sometimes in your life, you'll have to go through that period as well. I know I'm already getting off topic here. I know this is already a side tangent, but this video doesn't really have a script, so it's not. Recently, as you probably noticed, I haven't been getting that much sleep. Not because I'm playing video games or I'm scrolling through TikTok at night. No, I genuinely don't have the time. I know everybody is gonna say that, oh Milan, you're coping, you're coping. If I was coping, I would be sleeping 3 hours a night, yet I'm sleeping 6 to 7, which is all of the time that I can afford. I mean, even Iman Gachi, when he was 14 years old, he started his first business and he slept for 4 hours a night. I know if you're an expert sleeper like me, that seems horrific. How oh, can you only sleep 4 hours? But I'm really serious when I'm saying that sometimes you have to work 15 hours a day and that isn't shallow work that you're doing at your 9 to 5 job. No, that's meditation, journaling, reading, exercising, working on your business, playing piano. Sometimes you just have to work, work and work. There's this great quote that my piano teacher gave me and that is, when you're young, it's just activity, then activity, then activity, sleep, repeat. That's the case for me at least and I'm really not complaining here. I'm not trying to complain here, that's something that I really want to get away from. But sometimes in life you'll probably have to sleep 5-6 to six hours per night. But when that happens, just sleep in on the weekends. Sleep as much as you need. I know before all of this YouTube stuff, I used to actually study for school and like everybody else, I would study up until 1, 2 a.m. Of course, I would be getting five hours of sleep. But then on the weekends, I would literally wake up at 1 p.m., sometimes 2 p.m. I'm not saying that's healthy. I'm not saying that's ideal. But sometimes you have to do that. Right now, during the traditional work week, I sleep around seven hours and when it's the weekend I sleep for nine hours. That is, I guess, my current state when it comes to sleep. Which when you really think about it, maybe it's even above average because I know right now, especially with the invention of TikTok and everything, a lot of people are losing sleep, a lot of teenagers especially. There was a study done a couple of years ago and they said that the average teenager back then slept for around 7 hours per night when in reality we need 9 hours but that is just difficult to accomplish, let's say. So getting back to the video topic, there is a danger in using weak words. I'll give you a prime example of me a couple of days ago. So right now because I'm going to school later from 1pm to usually 7 or 8 p.m. And that causes me to train late. I honestly despise training in the morning. I just can't do it. The ideal time for me is 1 p.m. But this week I have to train late. And after the training, it's 10 p.m. Here's the thing. I have two options. I could say to myself, I'm tired, man. I don't really want to do this. Like, I just want to watch YouTube videos. Or you could say, okay, I have this one activity that I must do. This one and that is it. Afterwards, I can maybe watch a YouTube video or two, but that's it for the day. Notice how these two different scenarios, it is just one word that changes it all. It's the word tired. And this word specifically, it can really change your mindset. The thing is, us teenagers, if you're a healthy teenager, which most likely you're not. If you're a teenager, you can constantly do activities. Your energy levels are at their peak right now. And you can't afford to sleep six hours per night and still have the energy to do everything. It's not ideal. I'm not recommending it. But 
genuinely you could do everything you wanted to if you slept six hours. Me personally, I like to sleep a lot, but sometimes you just can't really do that. And you're watching me, you're agreeing with my statements, and you say to yourself, okay, I won't say the word tired anymore, but what else, Milan? There's this one activity that I want you to do. I'm going to do this after the video as well. Write down a list of words that you're probably using on a day-to-day -day basis that you should not use. The first one that comes to my mind is tired. The second one, depressed. The third one, anxious. I know it's offensive to say that depression doesn't exist, but why should you focus on something that can damage you, that can weaken you? Why should you be saying, oh, I'm anxious, I'm depressed? If you're constantly telling yourself, man, I'm depressed, man, I'm anxious, you're going to stay at that mindset. But if you were to constantly say to yourself, man, I'm a happy human being. I don't really have any mental issues and I'm not tired. Which person is going to be better off? The one that says that I'm depressed or the one that says constantly to himself, I'm a happy human being. So write down that list or even better to engage the YouTube algorithm. You can write it in the comments below to inspire other people to do it as well. And also, I'll know if you're one of the guys that watches these videos until the end. Shout out to you, by the way. TLDR of this video is... If you want to be the most productive version of yourself, if you want to be the strongest version of yourself, stop using these words that weaken you. Generally, don't say the word tired, don't say the word anxious. If you're using it in a different context like what I'm saying in this video, then sure. But even your friends as well, don't allow your friends to say, man, I'm so tired, I want to go home. Did mom give birth to a baby? I genuinely do believe that I'm becoming more masculine day by day. There may be a few friends that you have that are kind of like put Every single time it rains, they're like, oh man, it's raining. And in that moment, you should say to them, did mom give birth to a pussy? So what? Everybody is distressed because it rains, but it is your masculine imperative to shut up and to deal with it. I know you've never been taught this stuff because the education system is totally fucked. But here's some older bro advice. If you want to become more masculine, which a lot of teenagers do want nowadays, stop complaining. And I mean this with best intentions. Stop saying, man, I'm tired in front of everyone else. Imagine if you're with your girl that you like and you say, man, I'm just so tired of this work. I'm really anxious. You shouldn't do that. If you're in a healthy heterosexual relationship, your girl has to see you as a superhero. And do you really think Batman would say, Man, I'm just tired of this work. Stop using weak words for a stronger life. If you like this video from a young guy like me, I would highly appreciate some feedback. And of course, you can watch this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the future, bro. Here's something I just... Abra.